Hello, this is Bruce Wan, Head of Research for MaxCap Group. In this video, I want to take a good look at the student accommodation sector to talk about where the market is heading, the likely policy changes on the horizon, and out of all this, the potential opportunities in this space. Certainly, there's a lot of momentum in the tertiary education sector right now. The education market in Australia is very strong in 2024. After a temporary lull when borders were closed, inbound student numbers came back very strongly in 2023 with enrolments just shy of 1 million students a year. Given the stronger numbers at the start of this year, Australia is well on track to push enrolments past the 1 million mark in 2024. This volume of student inflow has a very substantial impact on the Australian economy. Tertiary education is now Australia's fourth largest export, sitting behind iron ore, coal and natural gas. At the same time, it's adding significantly to the demand for housing. At a time when the housing market is already very tight, with low vacancies and sharply rising rents. The reason for this strong market is very simple. Australia is a very safe, accessible and appealing destination for international students. The universities continue to feature very highly on global ranking tables. Not surprisingly, Australia is ranking as a top three destination for international students, just behind the US and the UK in terms of popularity. All of this is driving a big investment push into purpose-built student accommodation in Australia. Today, the student housing market in Australia is still in its infancy. There are roughly 57,000 operational beds in dedicated facilities, suggesting a market penetration rate of just 5% in Australia. You compare that with more mature housing markets in the US at 29% and the UK at 45%. At a time of considerable undersupply in the housing market, we see these conditions as very strongly supportive of the housing market for students, translating into more robust occupier demand and stronger rental growth. From an investment perspective, this market segment is looking attractive for several reasons. Student housing offers relatively high yields compared to other living sectors, including both build-to-sell and build-to-rent housing markets. Compared to other commercial sectors, there's a higher degree of resilience in student housing, particularly with the softening cap rates and falling asset value trends still impacting on office, retail and industrial sectors. However, there's some potential changes to the student housing market outlook on the horizon. There's a rising probability of government intervention on foreign student inflows coming into Australia. In this regard, there's a government strategic policy framework and it makes very interesting reading. Given their stated focus on the quality and integrity of the system and to manage the number of students and the courses they enrol in. In other words, there's likely to be a bigger policy push in 2025 to make student flows more manageable and more predictable, to crack down on sham visas, schemes, and also to ensure a better matching of training courses to skill shortages. For the student housing market we're talking about here, we're not expecting any dramatic change from these policy moves. Where a student housing facility is being developed in a major capital city, located around the campus or the city center, targeting legitimate students in major universities, the demand and supply equation does not change a lot. Altogether, we're seeing market undersupply in this category with good profiles ahead for occupancy and rental growth. In our view, the outlook for student accommodation is looking very bright. Strong demand, lagging supply, resilient yields in a developing sector all point to a strong investment case for several years ahead. If you're after more on this story and the investment implications, come talk to us and our capital team who can give you much more color about the potential opportunities. This has been Bruce Wan for MaxCap Group.